When you get to a gym, then keep your bag on a bench. The first thing that comes to your mind is which exercise should you begin with? And of course, the one you see with more resulting benefits is what you will go for. The main question in today's video is calisthenics, or as we can call it body weight workouts or weightlifting, which will keep you fit, add enormously to your muscle growth, and even make you live longer. Search no more, you are in the right place. The truth is both forms of exercise has its very unique benefits and can also be very good if you are looking for that six packs, bigger chest, and many more. You don't just step into a gym, go to the biggest dumbbell, and begin lifting. At least not for everyone. Everyone has the exercise they are more interested with especially if they are aiming for a particular fitness goal. Bench press and push up, both works your chest, pull up and barbell rows, both works on your upper back and grip strength, planks and deadlift, both works your upper back. The difference with the exercise mentioned is one uses your body while the other uses equipment, but they have same function. Bursting your bubble, they don't both offer same amount of benefit, one could be better. I will be stating the most asked questions between calisthenics versus body weight workout, answering each of them, listen carefully. 1. Which is better for building muscle, calisthenics or weightlifting? If you have tried both then you will come to realize that both calisthenics and weightlifting can build muscle well, but they work in different ways. Weightlifting allows for more precise control over resistance and progressive overload, meaning you can easily change the load you are carrying, making it easier to target a specific muscle group and increase muscle mass. Calisthenics, on the other hand, mainly uses your body weight resistance and focuses on functional strength, which can also lead to muscle growth, especially for beginners or individuals with limited access to equipment. Typically speaking, using weights for growing your muscles is actually more better for your muscle gain. This is because dumbbells provides greater space to move higher, changing the weight you carry, which is why progress happens more quickly. In other words, your own body weight is the greatest resistance in calisthenics which makes it lesser compared to weightlifting. 2. Which is better for weight loss, calisthenics or weightlifting? Calisthenics exercises typically involve active movements that raises your heart rate really high and burn calories, making them effective for fat loss and improving cardiovascular fitness. Weightlifting, meanwhile, can also help increase muscle mass and metabolic rate, leading to greater calorie expenditure even at rest. So in conclusion calisthenics workout involves compound exercises as it uses multiple muscle groups at once. Hence, it is better for burning calories, whereas weight training contains isolated movements that do not require a lot of energy. 3. Can I build a balanced physique with calisthenics alone? Absolutely yes. You can get a great build with calisthenics only. Resistance is all the same, whether you get it from lifting weights or leveraging body weight training. Calisthenics exercises can effectively target major muscle groups such as the chest, back, legs, shoulders, and core. By also adding a variety of exercises and progressions, you can develop a well-rounded physique with calisthenics. But, some people chooses to supplement their calisthenics routine with weightlifting or other forms of resistance training to further enhance muscle growth and symmetry, it's still great. 4. Which is better for improving cardiovascular fitness, calisthenics or weightlifting? Dynamic motions and constant body weight resistance are common components of calisthenics exercises, which can increase heart rate and enhance your cardiovascular health. High-intensity interval training has also been shown to be good for health and loosing fat, and is added into many calisthenics routines. While on the other hand weightlifting can also provide cardiovascular benefits, especially when performed with shorter rest periods or in circuit-style workouts. In general, calisthenics has more heart rate elevating exercise options when compared to weightlifting. So if cardiovascular conditioning is helpful in the sport of your choice, calisthenics should be your go-to. 5. Which is better for improving flexibility, calisthenics or weightlifting? Calisthenics often involves more dynamic movements that engages different muscle in your body and promote more flexibility and mobility, making it beneficial for improving overall range of motion. Also, many calisthenics exercises incorporate elements of stretching and mobility work, such as deep squats, lunges, and yoga-inspired movements. While weightlifting can improve strength and muscle tone, it may not directly target flexibility to the same extent as calisthenics. So gotta go with calisthenics. 6. Which is more suitable for beginners, calisthenics or weightlifting? Calisthenics might look like something you could just start the first day, and you start achieving your goals, but it is actually the other way around. Without endurance you could give up the first day. Doesn't mean weightlifting is also easy. To lift a deadlift is even worse. So in general exercises such as squats, lunges, crutches, and push-ups fall under this category. The best part about calisthenics is that it is excellent for beginners, and you can do them anywhere and at any time, as it does not require any equipment. But make sure to start little by little, and drink a lot of water. 
to improve your endurance so got a video for you. 7. Are there specific muscle groups targeted more effectively by one over the other? Both actually targets different muscle groups to varying degrees, because of the nature of the exercises involved. Calisthenics rely heavily on body weight movements. This emphasizes core strength, endurance, and functional muscle development, with a focus on stabilizer muscles. On the other hand, weightlifting, utilizing external resistance such as dumbbells, barbells, and machines, allows for a more isolated muscle targeting and greater load progression. This can lead to a more better hypertrophy in a specific muscle, such as the chest, shoulders, and legs, as exercises like bench presses, shoulder presses, and squats can also be loaded with heavier weights. What I am trying to say is, both forms of exercise grade in targeting different muscles, but they do so with differing emphases and methodologies. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe. Want to know more about different exercises? We got a video for you. Choose anyone.